happened over. That is sound from the rally in Pennsylvania where earlier today shots were fired in an apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. That is where we begin your news at 11 tonight. Thank you for joining us for your WNCT 9 News at 11. I'm Davis Supis. The Secret Service says former President Trump is safe. Some quick current facts and updates. Former President Trump has been released from the hospital and is on his way to Milwaukee for the Republican National Convention. The FBI identified the shooter early this morning as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. The agency said the investigation into the apparent assassination attempt remains active and ongoing. For more information on Trump's response and how his supporters are reacting, let's go to Natalie Brand. Local reaction from across our state as many elected leaders went to social media to condemn the political violence and conversations sparking for people across eastern North Carolina. Nine on your side's Lauren Beachy went to Washington in Beaufort County. Today she's joining us now in the newsroom. Lauren went to find out what some of the community members are saying about an anxious time for our country. As we mentioned, President Biden giving his updates today from Washington, D.C. Biden came out to offer condolences to the families of the victim and those injured. He mentioned that he and Trump had a brief conversation and that it went well. He also assured that with Trump being a former president and already receiving the Republican nomination, that he has a heightened level of security. All right, Lauren, thank you. And we're learning information tonight that the Democratic Party's headquarters in Carteret County was vandalized last night. Details are limited at this time, and according to the North Carolina Democratic Party chair on X, no one was present at the time of the incident. We will continue to look into this and keep you updated as we learn more. Back in Pennsylvania, authorities searching the home of Thomas Crooks, the shooter that was killed. Law enforcement officials blocked off roads near the suspected shooter's home just south of Pittsburgh. Media crews gathered at the scene. Wes Morgan, a neighborhood resident who did not know the shooter, described it as a blue-collar community with supporters of both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. I mean, total shock. It was, uh, like I said, we've been here a little over 10 years, going on 11 years, and haven't had any incidents of any crime, really, that I can remember. And so the fact that, you know, the guy was less than a mile away, a street away from where you live, is kind of crazy. I think the right's going to put this up as the left coming after them. I think the left might put it up as this was a sham, even though people are dead. The political leanings of Crooks were not immediately clear. Records show Crooks was registered as a Republican voter in Pennsylvania, but federal campaign finance reports also show he gave $15 to a progressive political action committee on January 20th of 2021. That was the day that President Joe Biden was sworn into office. Meanwhile, the victim who was killed at the rally identified as former fire chief, 50-year-old Corey Comperator. Witnesses say he was shot while trying to protect his daughter when gunfire rang out during the speech. The Buffalo Township Volunteer Fire Department putting on displays at their station and at Corey's former locker today, offering their condolences for the rest of his family. Craig Sirioncine, a lieutenant at the fire department, talked about the man the former fire chief was. I just wish it didn't happen. I just can't believe it happened. Uh, Truly a good, God-fearing, hard-working man, loved his family. This was the last thing that this man ever deserved. He would go on to say that serving came naturally to the former chief and that the community had being there for people represents him. 